15. It's 1,600 yen. It's not a bad price. Dreamcast in the box. Mega Drive CD2, 27,000. About 32 minutes before I have to get out of here, so we're gonna do this quick. Hey there, refurbers and scruffy looking nerf herders. It's me, scruffy looking RGB. And you can see we are not anywhere towards the central Tokyo. We are out in the sticks today. As you can kind of make out back there, maybe. But we found a new hard off. You will be able to see it here real quick. Kind of see the making out of it. We are in Shin Sayama Station. Uh, very far into West Tokyo. Never been to this location before, but they've got a gale and they've got a hard off. So we are going to check it out. And I've got, I don't have much time. So we have only a little bit of time today. As you can see on my phone here, I've got 32 minutes before I have to get out of here. So we're gonna do this quick. So without further ado, let's get scruffy looking. All right, we're almost right in front. We're in front of the building here. Hard off, house off, even Gao. I don't know if that Gao is still in service, but there's a PC depot, a boon boon, whatever that is. Looks like fishing equipment, often fishing equipment with other things, but we're gonna get across this street. As you can see, the sun is setting here. This car is trying to run me over. All right. Boon Boon Gayo Hard Off House Off. It's the big sign. It's a beautiful fall day. There's fall leaves and things happening. We only have about 30 minutes left, so let's get inside. See what we can find. Hard off is on the second floor. The gale closes at 11. Oh, lots of stuff to look at here. There's a gale down here. Probably has lots of games too. Maybe more than hard off, but we'll see. We'll see if this was worth it. There's a PC, there's Boon Boon. Fishing, PC Depot, Hard Off, House Off, Dream Place. There's all kind of stuff in here. It seems like there's a whole lot of game stuff. It's really hard to tell. There's cameras, PSP. I do see some game stuff. Got some Famicom titles here, Rockman 5, Rockman 4, Rockman 3, not bad prices. Arkanoid, ooh, Gradius. I wonder if this is the Aruku Mendes version. 15, it's 1,600 yen. It's not a bad price for a boxed Gradius. Cool. Lost World of Jenny. I think that is the Jenny toy, the Japan version of Barbie. It's a little bit scruffed up. It is an action platformer. Might be cool. But 1300 yen is not too bad. Very interesting, uh, definitely Japan exclusive. And Gradius, 16,000 yen, that's a very good deal. Mario Collection, Rockman X3, 1000. Got Drymon on the N64 here. A few Saturn games. I think I'm gonna come back over here. I just want to check what they've got. First, they've got some GBA games in here too. Fire Emblem. 
Oh, Shino Kirby for 550. That's a pretty good deal. Ogre Tactics for 800. Fire Emblem for 3000. Jinpotsu Kiseki or Iseki. Uh, Sekai san. Rockman Exe. Huh. Dragon Quest in there too. There's a Mario with the golden six coins for six. 2,200 yen. That doesn't seem like a bad price, actually. Pokemon Emerald, also 5,000. It's not bad. We got a Gradius Deluxe Pack for the PlayStation, 2,700. Some interesting Famicom games in there. Uh, what is that? I can't remember what it's... It looked like a Japanese band version of Kiss. I can't remember what that game is called. Few uh, 3,300 from Rockman X. Wing Gundam for 8,000. Looks like it's in good shape, the box. GameCube controllers for 1,600. N64 controllers for 1,600. Alright, we get into PC stuff. DVD stuff. This is a house off, so I don't know how many doesn't always mean they're only going to have house stuff. It's a house and book off. And they do have some stuff here. Look. They've got a N64 for 11000 which seems very high priced, but it is a very pristine and good looking box. So that is very clean, but uh, not the cheapest I've seen. 8800 for a Dreamcast in the box. We have a slim PS2 for 11,000. Here we have this uh, N64 clear one. It doesn't have a pack, a jump pack at all in it. 11,000. I'm feeling the very expensive vibes here. Look at this. What is this? We got Family Fishing for the Wii by Bandai. Cool. Goes on to your Wii controllers. 3DS steering wheel for your 3DS. Definitely have a lot of interesting junk. 6,600 for a Spice GameCube. It doesn't say it doesn't work, so it must work. A pretty clean uh, Super Famicom for 6,000. All right, we gotta check out. We've gotta have a junk section here somewhere. Various DS's and uh, GBA is 7,700. I'd expect more like 5,000 even out here. But uh, they have this uh, Mega Drive CD2, 27,000. Very clean. It looks really clean. I didn't. It's pretty big. Pretty big. I didn't realize it was so such a big unit. But uh, it comes with. It doesn't just the cable, the AC adapter, one controller. That's very clean though. Bunch of switches. All kinds of switches here. Got this interesting one, Splatoon version, I'm sure. Forty one thousand. The Nintendo uh, S S P for eleven thousand. The uh, Famicom colorway. It's pretty cool. All right, how are we on time? Bunch of stuff here. I don't see any more camera stuff, games. I'm just gonna walk through the aisles here to make sure I'm not missing anything. Ooh, they have a boxed uh, Sony PlayStation clear controller, 2200. That looks really, I'm sure it's probably been opened and used, but it looks, it's pretty clean. Some more here. 1,300 for N64 controller. All right. Mm. Let's check out what else they got in the junk. Well, they do have some stuff in the junk over this way. Okay, there is even more expensive uh, Game Boy Advance here. They have a 9,900 for that blue one. It's very clean. Very clean. 
PSP, like a teal, greenish blue color for 4,400. We've got a Donkey Kong uh, game and watch 5,500. It's a cool LCD game, professional poppy electronics game called Space Cobra. Oh, that's kind of cool. Space Cobra, and it's got the box. Look at that packaging. Space Cobra. I wonder if it's like the game. What is this? Fuun Senki. Looks like a Gundam. Definitely Gundam. An SD Gundam LCD game. Got Moai Kun in here. Oh, snap! Look at that. A Super Game Boy 2 for 3,300 yen. That is a pretty good deal, and I have been looking for one. We'll have to come back to that, possibly. There's another SP back there for 7,000. This Master System game, I'm not sure what it is. Also got Sreya's, 2,200 yen. Godfather in there. What is that game there, the Gundam Senshi game? I think that's a PlayStation game. Huh. Very cool stuff here, very cool stuff. Lots of phones, lots of cameras. Crazy, let's see what kind of game junk they've got. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we do. We get into the game junk. Got N64 stuff. Ooh, we've got uh, Mario Golf 220. It has the the uh, instruction manuals too. What do we have in here? We got PlayStation games. Populous. This looks like a cue card game here. It, if it, it's only Populous though, I don't know how. Looks like the discs in there too. But it is not doesn't have the original PlayStation uh, uh, PC engine, but it is populous. I think this is like a what do you call it, strategy game? Just put that up here. I might come back to that. Oh. Anything good? Time Crisis Sea Show. What is that? Sea Show Dan. And some PS2 games, Final Fantasy. So how are we doing on time? I have to check the time real quick. A bunch of PS2 shelves, PSPs. Look at that. Anything good in there? God Eater, Dumbo, Sankey. Let's take a look at that real quick. I just want to see the price. Dumbo Senki. Says the price is here. Cables without price tags. Brown. Red is 330. Blue is 500. <laughs> Junk game is 110. So is it in here? It is. Dumbo Senki for 110 yen, I would imagine. Without price tags, 110. Sweet! Reusing junk is the ultimate technology. I agree with you heavily. Look at this. I haven't seen one of these in a very long time. This GameCube Shuno case. This is awesome. And it's spice orange. Oh, I haven't seen. I saw one of these at Super Potato a long, long time ago. This is so freaking awesome. Put your GameCube in there. It's cool. It has like little compartments for cables and things. It has a little drawer for your games. This is so cool. 4,400 yen. That is so awesome. They even have some 3D printers up in here. Wow, cool. 3,000. 33,000. 27,000. X12. What is this? XYZ printing. 3,000 yen off of that. This is cool too. 3,000 yen off of that. Huh, I might have to get a 3D printer today. What else we got? We got Famicom games. Yes. Look at this. We've got Shrink Crayon Shinchan. Complete. Very scruffy looking box, but it's only 330 yen. This actually, I was looking at this game the other day. It actually is kind of fun. Was it, uh, forgot his name. He was looking for one of these. 
Mario Paint in here, 1,100. Doesn't have the box. Few uh, Famicom games in here. Look at this really clean Mario Brothers 3. It's, whoa, no. <laughs> Look at that. This is <laughs> this is the uh, that st the uh, what do you call them? Little note set that you can get at the Nintendo store exclusively. Somebody trying to pass that off for real software. It's funny. It's really clean looking there. F1 race. Cool. Man, exciting. Ah, oh, I got. Let's look at the time. How much time do we got? PSP stuff, Mario Party. Oh, we got 15 minutes left. We gotta, we gotta pick up the pace. I will definitely be coming back to this location, so you can bet there will be more from here very soon. But uh, I had to come and check it out today, and I don't have much time. So we're just flipping through stuff like crazy. Power Dunkers, Gran Turismo, Power Dunkers, look at that. Oh, the junk is great. We haven't even gotten to the console stuff yet. Oh my goodness, get out of here. Look at this Famicom, it comes with an RF cable. Look how clean this is, this is very clean. This is so clean. This is clean. So, so, so clean, look at that. That might have to come home with me. It's calling me. Controllers are in really good condition, too. Really good condition. That's a good one. I might have to do that. Get all these PlayStation 2 controllers. Oh, we have a nice blue one in here. It's, uh... The sticks are pretty good. It's just scruffy. It just needs a clean. I've been looking for blue. I think I have a blue one. I have not cleaned it up yet. Cables and whatnot. Uh-oh, what do we have in here? What is this? Retro Game Key Pachinko. We have a Junk DS. Thousand Yen. It says the game does not respond. It turns on, though. Little troller bits and things. We've got N64. Um, cables, N64 adapters, junk items without price tags are 110, so 110 yen for a nice little thingy. You can just plug in your N64s and stuff. Bunch of N64 controllers in here. That is actually a very responsive stick. It's just yellow. This would be a good refurbish paint it. Star Wars colorways. I don't see any price tag on it, so that's 110 yen. Got a bunch of computer peripheral stuff. What else do we have on this side? More computer stuff. Printers, displays, monitors. So much stuff we have not got to look at yet. More, more things. Speakers. It just keeps going. Records. Look at this guy. Mr. Saxophone. Very cool. Roland. I don't know what I'm, I'm looking at. Amps now. Have anything interesting on this side? MD players. Oh, that's kind of cool. CD radio. Lots of key. Oh, look, we've got oscilloscopes. Looks like this is used on the space shuttle. Look at this good looking. It's an Iwatsu oscilloscope for 11,000. This looks really nice. I've been wanting to get an oscilloscope. I just don't know anything about choosing what one to buy. <laughs> So, let's see what's on the other side here. I'm sorry for the janky movements, but this is also a home house off. So they've got a bunch of house stuff like tools and things, clothes and things. 
Um, but I think we're going to head back to the games. Oh, I missed this. What is this? Arcade Superheroes. 27,000. This is cool. Arcade Superheroes. Cool little mini arcade there. Uh, this populous game, 500 yen. It's a deep sea diving thing for some camera. Whoa, a dropping camera bits. Not sure what to get here. So many things. Oh, I forgot to, this. Look at this. 3,000 yen for this complete N64, which is not a bad deal. It comes with the adapter and a controller. That's a pretty good deal. And this PSP Fat, this purple one, are kind of these are kind of cool looking. 3,300. It's got some scratches here and there. But here we have a PS2, 2,000 yen, for this, uh, I can't remember which version this is, but it's 2,000 yen. It's a 75,000 series. It's pretty clean, actually. It uh, says, the, it gets power. It did not read the disc, though. So, who knows? They do have another one here. 1,650 yen for this one. And this one is, has not been checked at all. So they don't know if it works or not. It is a 70,000 version. So those are two that I might come back for later, along with that uh, Famicom that looks so nice. So tempting, 800 yen for that. They do have a bunch of controllers too for a hundred yen. Yes, hundred yen controllers, Super Famicom controllers, great for modding. I'm definitely going to come back here. <clears throat> what is this? Super Cybertron. PlayStation controller? 515? Is that a real one? It's hard to tell. But this thing is amazing. This is also not a bad deal. Two twenty for Super Famicom. Very good deal. It says no, it doesn't work. It says no go for games. Could just be the composite needs a change. I don't see any damage though in it. It's just very scruffy. Okay, we have very little time left. About seven minutes, as I could see. Few, there's Game Boy Wars for the Game Boy Koro Koro Kirby is that uh, Famicom Disk System games Onigashima nothing too exciting though uh, Wonderswan games in here Digimon and uh, what is that Digimon another Digimon Bomberman Quest all right, nothing too exciting in the way of Super Famicom, Senken Densetsu, Garon Densetsu. Sorry for that. Mario Collection, 650, 550. All right. <sighs> Samurai Spirits, Rockman 4. Rockman 4, 1100 yen, it's a pretty good deal, Rockman 4. 
We got another Rockman here. Battle Chase. Well, that's a little bit better deal than I just picked that one up for in last week's video. All right, well, Rockman 4 is a good pickup, too. What is this? Is this YY World? No, not YY World. This is... No, YY Mahjong. Definitely don't care about that. Kingdom Hearts. Namco Collection, Volume 2. Got Biohazard. What else? SD Gundam. Oh, they have a bunch of these. 1100 yen for that one. Now we got baseball ones in here, Mahjong. These are each 1100. All right. We got a few uh, N64 games. We got uh, this one here. Yoshi's Island. Anything? We got Master System game in there. Oh, Fantasy Zone. That's one I picked up last week on the Famicom. Capcom vs. SNK, 1650. It's pretty good. Tengai Makyo for the Saturn. 1100 Apocalypse 4. Very cool. I've, I don't think I've actually come across that one before. Hue card, we have Gradius. This Gradius on Hue card for 2200. It's at the Reggie. Langriza. Some GameCube games in here too. Oh, we got this. That the GX game. Sixteen fifty for Smash. But uh, we've got to make a choice and get the heck out of here, so I will see you heading back to the station. We're gonna have to check out Gayo real quick because I can't come out here without checking Gayo. Just want to see if they have any retro games. A bunch of newer games and stuff. Switch games. Oh, it's like a rental. It's still like a Staya and everything. That's right. Gayo is a rental spot. You can't rent games, but they rent like mangas and DVDs. I just want to see if they have any retro games. They have a bunch of Switch. Switch, Switch. They're DS, 3DS. Used games. I don't see any retro games here, though. It's PS5 games. There's PS Vita games. PS3 games. A little section. Nothing too exciting, though. But I don't see any retro games. No, PS4. It's about as retro as they get. So, nope. DS and 3DS and that's it. All right, I have, we're out of time. I've got to rush back to the station. I have my pickups here. Can you guess what I got? Uh, we're gonna rush back and you might catch a little bit of the glimpse on the ride home, but uh, we're gonna check it out in the laboratory. So, see you there. As you all know, I cannot risk leaving a Famicom behind. So you know how to get this 800 yen Famicom right here. I mean, it comes with an RF cable. It's so clean. 
and I'm looking forward to doing another Famicom mod with it. So then something I don't usually go for. Some of you may know it. This is the Super Game Boy 2 that only came out in Japan. Um, I've been looking at these for a while and I finally pulled the trigger because the price was right. So I think it was like 3,300 yen if I got that right. If not, I'll put it up on the screen over here. Um, Game, Super Game Boy 2, you play Game Boy Color games on your Super Famicom. And of course, regular Game Boy games. And I think they fixed the clock issue in this version of the Super Game Boy 2. So, yeah, those are my pickups of the day. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me on today's new adventure in Sayama, Saitama at a brand new hard off. If you're interested in more game hunts, you'll want to check the list in the end screen. Also, uh, don't forget for extra content and new updates on modding progress and new game shopping videos, try and check out the scruffy looking RGB crew. You get a lot of awesome perks there and you get to help out a scruffy looking nerfer. Just an update, I've been modding a Famicom recently and if you want to know more about that, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check out those live streams of me RGB modding my most recent Famicom. It is coming along quite nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay safe, but above all, stay scruffy looking. My precious. My precious. My precious.